Hi, my name is Justin with Party Plus Rentals in Cockeysville, and today we're going to go over the operation of our frozen drink machine. We have two styles here. This is the, our small one, and this is our stainless steel. They operate in a very similar fashion. This is the product that we use. It comes in a half gallon container, and this is what you're going to use to mix in into the unit. Before operation, you always want to make sure that your bowl is sitting behind this lip. If you do not get the clips behind there, then once your mix is in the unit, it'll push the bowl forward and it will leak out of the back. Here you have your switches. This is for the auger inside the unit. And this switch is for the refrigeration to freeze the mix or if you do not want it frozen and you just want it chilled you would not use that switch there on the stainless steel unit it's very similar you would put your switch to snowflake to freeze it both switches both top and bottom and then the bottom switch to the thermometer if you just want it chilled the mixture you need to use is a half gallon of the product and two gallons of water. If you're using alcohol, you're going to replace one part water with the alcohol, but do not exceed 25% of the mixture with the alcohol. It is recommended to chill your uh, mix before you put it in the unit to decrease the freezing time. To put it in, you just take off the lid. There is a minimum and maximum level of where you need to have the unit filled. The bowl itself holds two, two and a half gallons of mix. Once you have enough mix in, you're going to put your lid back on and make sure it is on securely or the machine will not rotate the auger. To start the auger again, you just hit your switch and have the refrigeration unit on to make sure that it freezes. And it takes 30 to 45 minutes for the mix to freeze. If you're using alcohol, that is going to uh, slow down the freezing process. With the stainless steel machine, it's the same concept. You just take the top off. It holds the same amount of mixture. You put that in there. And again, you just switch both your switches to snow, Snowflake to start your auger and to start the freezing process. Once your mixture is frozen and you're ready to dispense, just pull down on the lever here and drain it into your container. To prevent any drippage on your table, you have a pan that comes with it that just simply clips onto the front of the machine and the tray has a hole in it for your condensation tube so that also will drip right into the pan. On the stainless steel machine, the dispensing is the same thing. You just pull out your lever and the mix will come out here. On the stainless steel machine, you have a light that will indicate when the mixture is uh, below the minimum level. So you, if that comes on, you need to make sure you add more. It is a good idea to have your second batch ready and chilled. So that way, when you, you can just add it as needed and it won't take an additional 30 to 45 minutes to freeze that batch. We do not recommend you keep you use either of these machines in direct sunlight as that will lengthen the freezing time and you always want to make sure you have enough uh, clearance area to allow proper ventilation. If you keep your auger off and you're not using it with your mix still in there, sometimes a thin layer of ice will form. You always want to make sure you break that up before you be begin your auger rotation again uh, so you don't damage any parts. Once you're done, 
you just turn the refrigeration off and turn your auger off. Dispense of any remaining liquid. Pour clear water into your bowl. Turn your auger back on and run that through and just repeat that until it comes out clear and then you want to dry everything thoroughly. Uh, the units take 120 volts and you should use it to with a dedicated outlet. Do not try to share the outlet with any other appliance. Uh, if, your, if your mix is not coming out on either unit, you always want to make sure you don't have any uh, anything frozen solid blocking the dispensing tube so that way the slush can come out. And again, with uh, the smaller machine, you always want to make sure your bowl is clipped behind the lip of the frame so that way you do not have anything leaking out. And again, hot weather or a uh, high surrounding temperature will lengthen the freezing time. And that's how you operate both the small and the stainless steel frozen drink machine.